Hey everybody, this is Gwen, Gwen Walker. We're gonna get started in just a moment, but before I do, I wanna make sure that you can see my screen here and hear my voice. Welcome everybody to the Mining Max Overview. My name is Gwen Walker and I'm coming to you from sunny Orange County, California. So excited to have you on the call. We've got people from all over the United States and even worldwide on the webinar tonight, which is wonderful to see. A lot of familiar faces. Uh, we've got a very special guest with us this evening. And before I go ahead and introduce him, we're just gonna cover a little bit and then I'm gonna bring on my husband, Will Walker. He's standing by, I believe. So we're gonna talk tonight about the blockchain revolution and Mining Max and talk a little bit about what Mining Max is, what mining is, a little bit about the digital world. If you ha are not that familiar with it, we're gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna talk about how you can actually earn money in this industry and how you can get started. So before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna turn the call really quickly over to Will. He's standing by. Thanks, Gwen. I didn't realize she was bringing me on so quickly. So huh. anyway, um, hello, everybody. Great to have you on tonight. We've got some really exciting news and developments with Mining Max and, you know, just with all the uh, events that are going on in uh, the blockchain with all of the top rated digital currencies, digital money right now. So once again, um, I'm not going to go through some of these first slides yet. I think just to start things rolling. Um, I would like to introduce a, a great guest. He also, his name is Mark Moss. He's a speaker, a uh, valued speaker. He's developed apps and websites for different digital currencies, uh, very strong educational sites. I think he's going to give out a good free one tonight that I've enjoyed and learned a lot from uh, with different articles and different tools on it. Uh, that he uses himself, as well as uh, a lot of my investors and people, too, uh, really rely on uh, updated information that appear on his site. Like I say, it's a free of charge thing. It's a great tool. Uh, Mark has also been a big, very successful investor in Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Uh, he's written several valued papers and articles uh, about both, which I value, and it's helped me in my research and, and certainly a lot of my people and investors as well. So without further ado, just, you know, because coming up here in the week of uh, August 12th through 15th, we'll be able to turn and start mining Ethereum Classic. So as much as I talk about Ethereum and all the 152 corporations in the Fortune uh, 500 that have joined the Ethereum Foundation and participate there, I am just as excited, if not more so, like I believe Mark is, uh, I don't want to put words in his mouth, in Ethereum Classic. So to be able to turn some, all, or uh, even more of our machines on Ethereum Classic, which had the exact same trajectory, about the same price that... Uh, the early miners with Mining Max started to make serious money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, because they were able to not only mine Ethereum, they were able to get it at seven, 10, 15, 20 dollars uh, a coin. And of course, you know, six, eight, 10 months later, look what's happened to their bank accounts. So we feel, I feel strongly that the same trajectory, the same upside, uh, massive upside is certainly very doable and achievable with Ethereum Classic, which we'll be able to mine uh, here in the next week, uh, week to 10 days uh, with all of our machines. So to really emphasize that, tell us what he knows, give us some real inside stuff on Ethereum Classic and, you know, uh, you know, the blockchain in general, and maybe even why he's in Mining Max. Here's Mark Moss. So Mark, have I got you on the line? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, thanks for that great introduction, Will. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here talking to all you guys as well. Um, the blockchain cryptocurrencies are, are definitely a passion that I have. And um, as Will said, I've uh, been, been heavily involved in Ethereum uh, for over a year now, which means I've done really, really well with it. And um, I love it a lot and I love it even more. Um, what we're talking about today, as, as most of you are, are probably aware, you've, the opportunity has been to mine Ethereum. 
And uh, again, so Ethereum has done really, really well over the last year. Um, but tonight we're going to talk about the new opportunity that's coming around, which he said, you know, starting next week, you'll be able to mine Ethereum Classic. And so a lot of you may not really know what, what Ethereum Classic is. And so I'm here just to kind of give you a little overview on what that is. So, um, you know, I'm sure at this point, each one of you have heard of Ethereum. It's the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap in the entire blockchain space. So it's right behind Bitcoin. Um, a few months ago, it looked like it might even actually overtake Bitcoin to be the largest by market cap, but it's since kind of shrunk back down a little bit, but it's still firmly in second place. Um, I first started adding and, and recommending to other people to buy Ethereum about a year ago. Um, and since it, since then, it's risen over 3,400%. And so just to put that into numbers sake, if you would have put $1,000 in at that time, when I first started recommending my readers to buy it, it would be close to $30,000 today. So if you would have mined a thousand coins a year ago, it'd be worth $30,000 today. So that's the kind of gains that we're talking about. And, you know, I'm sure at this point, a lot of you are wishing that you had heard about Ethereum sooner and, and maybe you feel like you missed the boat. Well, I'm here to tell you that you did miss the boat. <laughs> um, it's been great. Um, I, I believe in Ethereum. I still buy and mine Ethereum, and I believe Ethereum has a long way to go, um, which is why I still buy it, and I still mine it, and I hold a ton of it. I believe there's still a long way to go, but but that 3,400% gain, um, you know, it's passed. But the good news is there's another chance. So now... You missed the boat the first time, there's another chance, and that's with Ethereum Classic, and it's about to take off. I call it your second chance at life-changing gains. And so this is Ethereum Classic that we're talking about. Um, when I first started talking about and adding Ethereum Classic, um, it was about $6, and today it's worth about 15 which I think is really good. But I believe that by next year, it could be worth over $50. All right. So um, as you can see, there's a chart pulled up. I, I guess that's an old chart. It was $1.39. Um, but it, it's gone from six up to 15. I think it can still get up to 50. So if you're mining this coin, I mean, you're getting it for so cheap. And if you can hang on to it, you're going to you're already making the money for mining it today. But then you get all that appreciation in the coin, which really increases your, your returns on that. Um, some of the insiders that I know actually think it can go up even way more than that. I've heard some people that that I, that I think are very reliable thinking it can go all the way up to over $200. And that would be another 3,400% gain, just like we had in the first Ethereum. And so that would be enough from where we sit today to turn $1,000 in coins into over $13,000. So that's just amazing. Um, one of the main reasons that I love this cryptocurrency space is exactly for these types of opportunities. And so I call these asymmetric bets. So what that means is that it's asymmetric. We have unlimited upside and very, very minimal risk or downside. And so it doesn't take a lot of money. You don't have to risk much money to make a lot of money. So if you missed out on getting into Ethereum when it traded for five and $10, now is your second chance. So as Will just said, you know, these guys that started mining Ethereum a long time ago made a lot of money because of that appreciation. Um, and now it looks like we'll have that second chance here with Ethereum Classic. So let me just kind of tell you what it is real quick. So Ethereum, you may have heard a little bit, I'm not going to get into this on this call, but you may have heard about this Bitcoin and this Bitcoin fork that just happened. Well, this happens in, in this cryptocurrency space. And actually, this is what happened with Ethereum. Um, about exactly a year ago. So in June of 2016, um, Ethereum, the developers and the miners behind it got into a disagreement. There was a, a, a hack and about $50 million worth of funds were stolen from Ethereum. And this is a very important reason why it's going to be good to so listen up. So about $50 million worth of funds were stolen. And a lot of people lost a lot of money, as you could imagine. Um, so what happened is, is the developers got in this, this heated debate and they said, what, what we can do is we can just uh, rewind or roll back the, the, the blockchain 
to before before this hack happened. That way everybody gets their money back. But see, the thing is with the blockchain, so whether it's Bitcoin or the blockchain, these transactions are supposed to be immutable. And what that means is that once it's recorded, it can, the reason why that's important is that right now we trust our money to a central bank and they can manipulate that, they can do what they can freeze your account, they take your money out of your account. Um, but with the blockchain, the information is distributed all over the blockchain and it's immutable. So once the blockchain says that you own those coins, nobody has the ability to take those away from you. It's immutable. But what happened is because of this giant hack and all these people losing their money, Ethereum said, well, we want to roll the blockchain back and take that and, and take that. And so anyway, the, the code, the developers around Ethereum said, look, we're immutable. We cannot do this. And then half the guys said, yes, we have to do it. And so what they did is they said, fine, let's just split. Let's fork. We're going to keep Ethereum classic, which is actually the original, and it's immutable. We're not rolling our back. And uh, what's known as just Ethereum now, which is actually the new one, said we are going to roll it back. Okay, and the reason why that's important, I'm going to get to a little bit further, but um, it's because of that immutability. Now, um, sorry about that. Okay, so um, when this happened um, was about a year ago. It was on July 26. Um, the Ethereum fork created two coins. And I held Ethereum at that time. The new coin, Ethereum Classic, came out at about 75 cents at the time. Within a few weeks, the price went up as high as 275. And then it dropped all the way to the dollar range, which seemed like a like a really long time. I think it was about nine or ten months. It sat at about a dollar. Um, personally, I kind of started thinking, what the heck am I even hanging on to this for? I mean, it was up as high as three. Now it's been a dollar for nine, ten months. I should just dump it. But what happened is right around April of 2017, about nine, 10 months later, it started climbing. And it started climbing higher and higher and higher. And again, I got it at 75 cents. It reached as high as $23 in June, which was amazing. And um, unfortunately, the entire crypto space has kind of been dragged down over the last 30 days, 45 days, because of this whole Bitcoin scaling debate. And it's down to about 14, 15 bucks right now. And that's an absolute steal. Um, from a technical perspective, if, if I look at the charts, the price has been consolidated down. It's an awesome time to buy in. However, I don't practice or preach about technical trading. What I look for and what I advise my readers and clients about is long-term future of the blockchain and the cryptocurrency markets. So let's talk about the fundamental reasons why I see Ethereum Classic growing in the future, right? Already at today's price, you can make amazing money by mining Ethereum Classic at today's price. And I believe it comes from my real estate investing days that you make your money when you buy not when you sell. And so that means I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, break even today to hopefully it's worth more in the future. No, I want to make money today and you can, you can make a lot of money mining Ethereum classic today, but if it can grow in value, you're going to make a lot more. So let's talk about the reasons why I believe the insiders believe Ethereum classic is going to grow into the future. So I have a couple, I have a couple reasons. I've broken them down for you. Um, four reasons. Uh, the first one is that there's a hard cap on the tokens, all right? Now, this is a super important reason. To go a little bit deeper, Bitcoin was designed to be modeled after gold. The reason why gold has been a great store of value because there's a limited supply. At one point, all the gold will be out of the ground. And the more gold we get out of the ground, the harder it is to get, and there's a true cost, all right? So we want things that have a cap because that creates a limited supply, which then creates a supply and demand price increase, all right? So um, if Bitcoin has a, a hard cap, there can only ever be 21 million tokens. That's it. Ethereum, not classic, but Ethereum does not have a hard cap. So what happened is Ethereum Classic said, not only are we immutable, but we're going to go ahead and implement a hard cap. And this will prevent inflation and allow our, our shares, our, our coins to become more valuable. 
So that's the same thing with our currencies, like the dollar. If a government continues to just to print new money all the time, each new dollar goes down in value because the demand's not increasing. So um, the reason why this is important is that people would rather buy tokens with a hard cap because they'll know they'll be worth more. And that's what Ethereum Classic has. Um, Ethereum is estimated to have um, is going is, is estimated to have about 210 million or a billion coins, sorry, a billion coins outstanding in the next like 30 years. So it's never going to have that supply and demand that Ethereum Classic does. Um, the second reason why I think Ethereum Classic is really going to grow in value is, is the market growth. So already the market cap, that means the total value of all the Ethereum Classic out there has increased by over 10 times just in the past three months alone. So the market cap has grown from 200 million to almost 2 billion dollars. So we're on a major uptrend right now. Um, one of the major factors that's pushing Ethereum Classic up is that there's been an uh, Ethereum Classic investment trust that's been put together by this Grayscale Investment Group. And what that does is it allows uh, regular investors, traditional or uh, institutional investors, to buy into Ethereum Classic with a trust. And so it just allows a lot of money to start flowing in. Um, it was first announced that they're going to go public in 2016. Immediately, the price started moving. Um, even just the anticipation of the fund going live, going live caused this huge surge of about 200 percent. Um, and I expect all the other insiders in the industry expect that over a billion dollars, a billion, one billion dollars of institutional money will flow into this grayscale Ethereum Classic Investment Trust. All right, so that's huge. A billion dollars. So right now, the whole market cap is two billion. So that's a fifty percent increase. But the demand is not going to come just from the from the investors. It's the developers that are really the lifeblood of cryptocurrency. So um, it's not it's not enough to just have a cool currency. It has to be useful. It has to be used for things. There has to it has to be solving a real problem or a need. And so we need developers using Ethereum Classic. And that's what we're seeing. A huge amount of developers are coming in now and starting to build apps on the Ethereum Classic brand. And one reason why they're doing that is the Ethereum token is very expensive. And so it's expensive to run their apps on that. And Ethereum Classic is proven to be more secure. It's proven to be immutable and it's cheaper for them. So it's attracting a lot of developers right now. Um, the third reason why I really think Ethereum is going to grow is that we're starting to see it get listed on, on all the major exchanges. So as you can imagine, if you can't buy Ethereum or if it's very difficult to buy it or get it, I mean, the price isn't going to go up very much. Again, it's right. It's supply and demand. So we need a lot of people wanting to buy, but even able to buy it in order for it to go up. So we've seen um, all the major uh, exchanges start adding it and actually – um, three of the largest exchanges in China, which is a very, very large market, have just added it. Um, Ethereum Classic is the first digital currency that's made it onto the research terminals at Bloomberg. And Bloomberg is the largest financial news source. Um, and also in Europe, London, on eToro, they just added e e Ethereum Classic. And then the last thing is um, the perception in China. And I know that China is just one country, and I'm singling it out here, but China is a giant, giant market. Uh, some of you guys might have heard, you know, over the last couple of years, all the Chinese people are trying to get their money out of the country. They've been putting it in real estate all over Canada and the U.S., driving up prices in Vancouver and, and New York City and, and, and uh, San Francisco and so forth. And they love cryptocurrencies because they can put in there and not have to worry about um, their government, you know, taking it or seizing it or whatever. And the thing that they love about Ethereum Classic is that it's immutable, right? Because they're afraid if I put it into Ethereum and the government wants to take it back, they could roll it back. But they know that Ethereum Classic has already proven that they won't do that. So 
those are my four reasons why I think Ethereum Classic is going to grow. I think we can see it hit fifty dollars in a year from now, which is a giant increase from fifteen today. Some people think we could see it go as high as two hundred, um, and I think it's a great one to buy. I think it's a great one to mine, and I think anyone that gets in now and is able to hold on to those coins is going to make a lot of money. Great, Mark. Mark, that's great. Thank you so much for the information. Now, I, I don't, we've got to get on to uh, a little bit more of the coverage here for the new people, brand new people on Mining Max, but that was great information. Can't thank you enough. Tell us your website. I've learned a lot from it. It's, it's updated with great articles and uh, information. Why don't you give that out if you would real quick and then uh, we yeah. can we can go from there. Sure. Thanks for that, Will. Yeah. So as I said, you know, I I've been recommending these when they were four and five dollars. If you want to keep up on the news, just go to my website, theblockunited.com. Again, theblockunited.com. I write these kind of stories. What I just talked about, I wrote about a few months ago. You can subscribe to the newsletter. That's the best way to keep up with me, theblockunited.com. And uh, you'll find our uh, social media handles and everything that you need there, as well as our newsletter. So that's the yep. best way to keep up on what I'm doing. That's great, Mark. Thank you so much. And I know everybody appreciates it, uh, appreciates your knowledge and insight. I know I do. Uh, I, you're one of the uh, major people that I listen to and follow uh, in the blockchain, in Ethereum, and Ethereum Classic, and in mining. And it's great to have you as a fellow miner in, in uh, Mining Max, too. So uh, great, to, uh, great to have somebody as knowledgeable and experienced as you are in all phases of uh, cryptocurrency mining uh, and the blockchain, you know, take advantage of what Mining Max has to offer. In yeah, mining I, I, I have so. been I have been mining. I'm also a fellow miner with Mining Max, and my machines have been running flawlessly. And I've been uh, super happy with the back end and how well everything works. And uh, and yeah, it's a, it's 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 gone great so far. That's great, Mark. Thanks for thanks for that. And I know we're going to have have you on again as. Uh, time will allow. And, uh, you know, I know we're all going to be the beneficiary of, of that information. So thanks again. Okay, everybody, we're going to re resume our regularly scheduled program here for all the new people who got on to hear about Mining Max. That was just a, a rare and very insightful, uh, intelligent, very experienced investor, miner, uh, creator, and writer uh, for cryptocurrency and mining in Mark Moss. So we're lucky to have him and uh, we'll be hearing more from him in the future uh, future webinars. So I'm going to hand it back to Gwen right now. She's going to take you through everything that uh, Mining Max has to offer in mining in general and Ethereum. Remember, Ethereum is great. 152 Fortune 500 companies have joined for a reason. But trust me, the institutional investors and companies also will take full advantage of a uh, hard cap uh, situation with Ethereum Classic. Both have tremendous t uh, potential to uh, really appreciate here in the next 6, 12 to 24 months. So here's Gwen Walker. Thanks, everybody. And I'll be back in a little while. All right. Wasn't that great information? I took lots of notes. I hope all of you did as well. So thanks again, Mark, for, for hopping on the call. We really appreciate your time. Um, you know, most people have maybe seen this slide that if you've been on this webinar before, but there are massive global companies who have done intensive study and put their money where their mouth is as well on Ethereum. You can see some of these major companies investing millions and millions and millions of dollars on the Ethereum platform. Microsoft Microsoft, Amazon, IBM, JP Morgan, Chase, Intel, Bank of America, Citibank. So sometimes a person has to say, you know, I don't understand it all. Uh, um, you know, maybe it doesn't make all 100% sense to me, but if you follow the money and go with the big boys and do what they're doing, you're probably going to be in pretty darn good shape. So as Mark was uh, talking about already, the return on Bitcoin has been absolutely ridiculous, 90,000%. So when you're looking at buying and mining, I mean, that's still going on with it, it with a Bitcoin. Does it have room to grow? Absolutely. But if you wish to purchase a new coin, we think you should probably be putting it in the coin, which is trustworthy and also has a huge future um, upside as well. And also that has been the Ethereum coin. 
reach rankings. It's the number two coin among international coins in just two years. And some experts believe it may even actually overtake Bitcoin in the, in the near future. So the world of cryptocurrencies, there are about 800 cryptocurrencies on the market today. Uh, only a few of them, though, are globally exchanged in the public. You've got your blue chips, you know, your Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, you know, you want to keep focused on the top seven, eight, nine, ten coins that are top of the line, the blue chip coins. Then you've got your alter alternate coins. There's about 800, as I said. Those are also exchanged in the public. Uh, you can find them on CoinMarketCap. And then you've got um, below that uh, what we call et cetera coins. Now there's about 2,600 et cetera coins. And these are really not exchanged on the public markets. They're coins that are maybe coming. Uh, people talk about they're going to create a coin. But if they're not exchanged on the public market, obviously you're running into things that are Whole lot more uh, risky. So, what is mining? You know, when I first heard about uh, mining coins, it didn't quite make a lot of sense to me. I, I was thinking about, you know, digging for gold or, you know, oil or something like that. But mining in the industry is it's just activities connected with working to create coal, diamonds, gold. And like this for mining in the digital world, we need highly effective computers. So when we're talking about mining for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, we're not digging in the ground for these coins. We're actually using highly advanced computers, state of the art. We're using manpower, electricity, and then the cost to produce cryptocurrency. Um, we're going to talk about our currency and um, uh, about our equipment in just a moment. You can see on the picture here down in the right hand corner, the usual mining facility has a lot of wires hanging all over and they're you know, like big rooms with machines and wires all over the place. Um, as you can see, it looks a little bit disheveled here in this picture that you can see in the bottom two photos. But our center is actually located in Seoul, South Korea. That's where our internet data center is. So a lot of people right from the get-go say, well, gosh, why Korea? Um, why are you putting your machines over there? And let me give you a couple reasons why. Number one, Korea is the um, second most wired uh, country in the world, meaning their internet speeds are massively fast. Um, they're, you know, they just have very digital, very uh, advanced digital speeds. Secondly, their electricity costs are extremely low. So we can keep our production costs low by having a data center over in Seoul, Korea. It's um, the center that we have is very um, highly under security. You can't just go walk in and see it. You have to have appointments to go in to see the machines. Even our uh, owner and founder, he has to have an appointment two weeks in advance to go see the machines. They're fully insured um, and regulated over there. Every machine you purchase, you have a certificate of ownership for each machine that you have. We're currently mining with what we call the six-way machine. And in the bottom left corner, you can see this is one of our mining machines. And you can count one, two, three, four, five, six uh, centers inside of each machine. These are the most advanced machines on the market today. Um, they're very fast in mining. And they actually use a little bit less electricity as well. And as I said, they are 100% insured too. Again, when you purchase your machine, you're not going to get it mailed to you at your home. It goes into the center in Korea where they mine it for you. So this is a business, unlike many under others, where you can actually make a purchase of a very advanced machine, have it shipped to the center, and you start making profits from the mining. How cool is that? So we're going to talk a little bit about the company history. Back in August of 2016, as you see on the right side, that's actually when the mining started happening back in August of 2016. Then they began consigning of the machines where we could actually purchase the machines and consign it in a leaseback program to the company where they do the mining for us and we get paid. In October of 2016, the uh, farms in Seoul, uh, the ID center, that's when they started the, the big mining farms. We started with one center. Uh, Minimax now has 12 data centers over in Seoul, Korea. They started with the first mining machine 
not that long ago, guys, we're looking at October of 2016, uh, you know, August of 2016, and to this day, they have 100,000 machines um, for Mining Mac. So it's a very big organization. It's not just a little thing. It's a very big company, and their goal is to be the largest mining uh, company in the world. So we're in the middle of massive global expansion right now here in 2017, and that's where the company has been and where the company is also going. Here's Namho Park here in the United States. His name goes by Daniel Park. He has 30 years experience in business management, marketing. He's an IT expert, uh, absolutely a brilliant gentleman. He was um, with Kia Motors for many years. He was responsible here in the United States for bringing on 600 dealerships to the United States with Kia Motors. He also had a legal service corporation and owns a, um, a company where they, um, I'm trying to think of the word translate, a translation service called Lisa. And it's revolutionary where you get live interpreters all throughout the world, right on your smartphone app, anywhere, anytime. So it's pretty cool technology. So that's Namho Park, our chairman. So what do we do with Mining Max and how does that actually work for you? So the company does the machine management and this is what I love about this business is if you wanna buy a machine, you don't wanna have to figure it out and figure out how it works and figure out all the technology. You buy a machine and let the expert do what they do. So they control a large quantity of these mining machines through a centralized management system. Now, they also constantly are analyzing the current market value. They find the blockchain coins with the highest value. So you're buying a machine and you're letting the experts do the analyzation of what coins have the highest value and the best upside. Back in the day when they started mining Ethereum, it was about $7 a coin. So the people that had the opportunity back then to mine with these machines and gather all this Ethereum have made an unbelievable amount of coins and money, okay? Right now, as Mark said, we have an opportunity to also start mining Ethereum Classic. I see the same potential here that they had there to take advantage of the timing of this amazing coin. And then we've got the group mining and the total management system and the large mining farm, which maximizes the profit margin capacity of these individual mining machines with very low electrical charges over in Seoul, South Korea. So how do you actually make money? Some of you here are probably trying to figure out what's in it for me, right? That's what I sometimes want to find out. How do I do this? How do I make money? How do I get started? So let's talk about that here for a few minutes. The administration and maintenance fees for Mining Max are 30%. 70% comes back to the members, those of us who are mining and also sharing the mining uh, opportunity with others. So when you buy a mining machine, 60% of the mining gets paid back to you in what we call smart mining. 10% is held uh, on the side for what the company is doing quite brilliantly is they're paying actually group mining bonuses, what we kind of call profit sharing, as well as a global share mining. So you can share actually in the global mining all over the world. 3% is set aside for that. 7% is set aside for group mining if you decide to refer other people and they decide they want a machines as well. The other ways we get paid are through cash. If you have somebody that wants to buy a mining machine, one machine, five machine, 10 machines, there's a direct sale bonus. We also have something called the sponsor matching bonus, which is really nice. And then there's a referral matching bonus as well. So I'm going to cover these very briefly uh, and cover how we can actually get paid. Okay, so let's start with the number one uh, bonus systems of Mining Max. There's two types of commission that are possible with Mining Max. You've got the sales bonus, and that's from earning from the profit of the sales of the machines. And then you've got the mining bonus, which is from the distribution of the coins that are being mined. 
So let's talk about first the direct sales bonus. Then I'm going to talk about group sales bonus, matching bonus as well. So number one is the direct sales bonus. When you spread the word about Mining Max and let people know that this is something that they can actually do and make income without having to quit their job or work, you know, 50 hours a week on a part-time job, they want to buy a machine, you earn a $200 direct sale bonus for each mining machine sold. So if somebody out there buys five machines and you told them about Mining Max, you're going to get a $1,000 direct sale bonus. They buy 10 machines, $2,000 direct sale bonus, and so on. Okay? The cost of the machine is $3,980. $3,980. For those of you who don't know that yet, the cost of the machine, one machine, is $3,980. If you go to eBay and actually look at mining machines, there is not anything even close to what we have for a thousand dollars more so these machines are actually priced under market value right now so we're getting an absolute steal for these machines so take advantage of that the second way we get paid is what we call a group sale bonus you're going to earn hundred and forty dollars per mining machine in what we call the team leg or the binary leg the the small leg whatever you want to call it Depending on how many machines you have, that's depending on, on how many levels deep it'll pay or your daily um, maximum that you can get. I'm not going to go into this fully, but I just want everybody to know there's a lot of different ways that we can get paid, and we will go through a full compensation plan training as well on top of that. But I just want to go over some of the ways we get paid. This is a really fun one, the matching bonus. If you bring somebody in and they're, uh, they go uh, like crazy and they just have a lot of referrals, you can actually earn a matching bonus 5% down to 10 levels of their check. So it's really a nice way to actually capture more volume and more sales. As I said, there's a tremendous amount of income to be made here many different ways. Now, the mining bonuses, as I said before, 60% of the total mining output is going to be paid to you, the person who owns the machine. So 60% comes back to you. 30% goes to Mining Max for electricity, maintenance, taking care of your machine, doing all the stuff that you don't want to do. And then 10% is held aside for uh, rank bonuses as well as the group mining bonus for those of you who decide that you want to build a team. So one more thing before I go ahead and bring on our next special guest, there's also mining bonuses if you get to certain ranks, which is really nice. And obviously you want to uh, have that mining to be available. Start mining obviously in the world can be yours. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Will just for a moment and stand by everyone. Great job. And I wanted to um, bring on our next guest, but I want people to understand mining is always going to be a constant in, in the world of digital currency, digital money, cryptocurrency, whatever you call it, and the blockchain. So once again, to get in with the number one company in the world in mining, in digital mining, with the best equipment, uh, backed with great management and great track record, uh, in this system with great payouts and comp plan is a true gift. It's a rarity. I personally, in my private equity business, interviewed over 100 mining operations in the last couple of years looking for the best and the be of the best and found it with Mining Max. And that's where I have my money and my time. And experts like Mark Moss and others have it as well. So once again, it's the best way to get any cryptocurrency, especially the top rated ones, is to dollar cost average through mining. Just like Mark said, things are low right now. We know in all probability they're going to go much higher, 3x, 5x, possibly 10x or more here in the next couple of years, if not sooner as the funds get prepared to come in and many of the developers continue to find new ways and exciting ways to use Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Uh, going forward. So please, you know, stay patient, stay mining, get as many machines, collect as many coins as you can, and it will pay off for you and your family and major generational wealth, uh, which is a rarity in this day and age. So I want to bring on one of my key partners, business partners, and a very sharp man, very successful. 
he and his wife have known them well over 10 years and worked with them in different projects successfully. Uh, he travels the world. He's very well connected internationally. Um, he's building a huge team here. He's got over 30 machines personally in Mining Max, mining for his personal family, for his general generational wealth, uh, for um, for he and Madison, his wife. And I'd just like to, him to take a few minutes to tell you what he's experiencing with um, with Mining Max and his vision for the future as well. So his name is Sean Starr, and I'm really excited about having him on as well. So Sean, maybe you could come on if you're there and give us some pearls and uh, also your vision. Well, that's okay. Uh, one of the things that I can talk about while we're trying to find Sean here briefly, I know he's standing by with a few technical difficulties, is that we have some great trips coming up. Um, you know, of course, many of us are going to Korea, August 10th, that's next week for a week. Uh, also, we're going to be going to um, uh, Las Vegas for our national convention. Uh, the company is going to open that up for everyone to be able to go. You know, uh, certainly if you can become three star, you'll get uh, the trip paid for and expenses paid for for three star and above. I believe there's going to be something exciting in September, like a cruise coming up that I believe Sunny Sun, our master distributor, is going to talk about in the future. Uh, certainly the month of August will be the time to qualify for that, as well as the expense paid uh, trip to the national convention uh in Las Vegas uh, in uh, in November. So very exciting. Uh, we do plan more trips into Korea too, coming the first of the year, uh, which is a very generous of the company to uh, allow those and participate. So we've got a lot of excitement, a lot of things happening with Mining Max. Uh, they've got a tremendous uh, future in a lot of different areas, not only mining, but in exchanges and other projects that, that we can participate in in the future. He says, I can't mute, so I don't know what's going on. There we go. Sean, are you there? Hello, Madison, Sean. I am here. Sean is in. Great. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, well, Madison Starr is a tireless worker, team builder. She has a tremendous heart, very intelligent. She's been very successful in building, com uh, building uh, groups yeah. and, and people from all over the world and many different organizations. It's a privilege to have you on and have you as a partner, Madison. So if you want to say a few words, love to have you. Thank you, Will, and thank you, Gwen. You guys do a phenomenal job with this, and it's been awesome working with you both. And um, our team, I, everybody on this call, I just want to congratulate you. We are with the right company. I am absolutely certain of that. And uh, Sean and I just spent uh, we did round trip in eight days driving to California from where we live. It takes two days. So, but we went out to meet Sunny and uh, our master distributor and uh, Daniel Parks, and we did get to see hands on, you know, the piece of the, the machinery, and it's amazing. And um, really hear his story and and ask questions, what have you. And I, this company is is really significantly. Um, mining and I, I really like everything I've been learning about digital currency this is a new world to me as well but um, the ethereum coin is definitely the coin to be mining and the ethereum classic and I know we'll have details soon about how you can um, uh, you know have have your machine changed to uh, mining the ethereum classic you know you can have we're we're talking about right now going with a 50-50 maybe, or one third of our machines mining the classic for us. So, you know, we're, we're understanding that really the name of the game is acquiring coins and, you know, doing your research. And I really love that uh, Gwen and, and Will that you point out that, you know, these are blue, blue, blue chip currencies or digital currencies, if you will. And they're very strong, um, strongly backed by hundreds of millions of dollars coming in from corporations worldwide um, that are standing for these coins being very strong. So we have a good, solid, um, you know, uh, investment. So I'm loving it. I, I love this business and I love to build hard and, and, and not wait. I just like to get on board and get going right away with each of my teammates as much as they, as hard as they want to run, I'm ready to run with them. So 
Um, we're excited. We're going to uh, Korea on yeah. the 9th. Yeah, so <laughs> a whole bunch of us on this call, I'm sure. Um, and I'm excited for that to actually go see the facilities and, um, you know, meet people who've been involved, who did catch that early, you know, ride with Ethereum when it was, you know, $15 a coin and what have you and, and managed to accumulate a lot and, and ride what they did here so far. So, Will, it's been a blast. I'm really <laughs> excited. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Madison. Great. And I want to congratulate you personally, Gwen and I do, because in the company does as well. Uh, just in a few short months, they brought and sold over 1,200 uh, machines, actually more than that, but over 1,200 uh, machines and certainly some great partners, some great uh, investors, some great builders, some great visionaries into the company. Uh, so once again, everybody out there, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And when you have a great company like Mining Max, when you have great leadership and CEO president like Daniel Park, uh, when you have a proven track record, when you can get this state of the art equipment, which all comes from Korea, LG and Samsung and all the manufacturers over there. You know, you have the ingredients for an incredible ride uh, for building that generational wealth for you and your family uh, and also making a difference in the world. Making, I do believe we're going to be able to help a lot of people, help a lot of companies, even some countries uh, along the way. So it's a great place to be. And I want to thank you again, Madison, for all your hard work, you and Sean's and um, thank you company awesome. does too so yeah i want to shout out to my team you guys are awesome <laughs> <laughs> there you go awesome. there you okay. go well, everybody yep and don't forget with group mining the group mining pools that gwen just showed you you can get a little piece of all of your groups mining uh as you move forward so it's a collective effort it's a team effort regardless of when you come in when you start you want it like madison said so accurately the end game is to acquire these coins just like mark said just like i've been preaching for years now three four five years to people when bitcoin was you know 40 50 dollars a coin when ethereum was 10 20 30 cents five dollars two dollars ten dollars I, buying it at $70, $80. I was begging people at 70 and 80 and 90 to buy Ethereum. And some did and some didn't. Well, it's, believe me, the best is still yet to come in all the top rated coins, but especially Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. So I want to thank everybody for being on. Great call, great time. Thanks for all my special guests. And we're going to see every each and every one of you at the top. Any questions or anything you need, we're standing by and we're going to see you on uh, next Wednesday. We are going to do a training on Saturday morning at nine o'clock Pacific. So Gwen will be conducting that on back office and some other things that, uh, you know, people that are new miners may need to address or even some old miners. So look forward to seeing everybody. Want to thank everybody for their time. God bless. We'll see you soon.